Good evening, everybody. I'm Bea Rashid, and together with my husband, Steve Rashid, who is up in the booth right now, we're the artistic directors of Studio 5. This is, is the Dance Center Evanston, the greater part of this area. Uh, we've been in Evanston for 25 years, and three years ago, I got the crazy idea that we should build a theater. So we did, and my husband and I together, we program the events that come into the performing space. Steve curates all of the music events, and I curate the dance events. And I'm thrilled to have you here this evening. I'm always so excited when we happen to have an event that brings together music and dance, both live. So, so I, I just applaud this wonderful company, Circo Rivera Dance Theater, for bringing these two beautiful art forms together on stage. You're gonna have an amazing experience. We have so many events coming up this fall that we have a list of them at the front desk. Feel free to pick something up. We've got music events almost every weekend going all the way through December. And we're bringing in another dance company uh, November 1st and 2nd. And this is gonna be a very unique experience. This is the Open Dance Project doing their regional premiere of Panopticon. They're a Houston-based company. Artistic director is Annie Arnold. She's been named as 25 to watch in Dance Magazine. And this is an immersive dance theater project in which there are only 40 audience members allowed in the space for each performance, and there'll be four showings. And it is a, uh, been inspired by the concept of a futuristic dystopian society in which you're always watched. You can think of the future, or you can think of now, however you want to take it. <laughs> it's kind of a Romeo and Juliet story set in the future, and they're going to take over the entire space. So it's going to be a very interesting project, and you can watch for that. Um, we hope to see you again this fall. If you're not on the mailing list, how many people are here for the first time? Anybody? Oh, well, welcome. Welcome to Studio 5. We're glad you found us. Um, we do have a mailing list. We do not inundate you with information. Steve just writes a very funny and clever email once a week, and he lets you know what's coming up. And, uh, and we just let you know what's happening, whether it's music or dance, or we even have a spoken word project coming in. So enjoy the performance. I'm now going to introduce you to one of the hardest working choreographers in Chicago, Wilfredo Rivera. You're so kind, thank you so much. So, oh, thanks. Uh, so yeah, I have the easy job here just to stand and welcome you guys, so. Amazing. Uh, my name is Wilfredo Rivera, and I serve as artistic director. And uh, like Ms. Bea said, we're celebrating our 20th season um, with three different programs in various locations. So this is our opening night. Tonight's program is American Catracho, which is uh, Catracho's slang for someone from Honduras, uh, who, which uh, who I am. I migrated to the United States when I was 12 years old, specifically to stu study arts and more uh, specifically to study dance, as it doesn't exist in this professional form in Honduras. Uh, so this idea started many years ago, and I wanted to take my personal journey uh, and expand it and bring other voices in uh, and other perspectives and give it a wider lens. And it just so happened that uh, it just so happened that our world turned upside down even more so than I thought in the past few years. So it has become even more relevant and urgent and than before. Uh, so what you're going to see is three years of work. Uh, two other choreographer collaborators who are in the program, Noel Kayser and Christian Denise, and other movement collaborators that came into play: um, law folks, uh, social workers. Uh, a lot of research, a lot of documentaries, and just taking into consideration the many uh, life stories uh, from the past and the present that have contributed to the breath that makes America. And uh, it is a cinematic suite, uh, so sit back. There's a lot of humanity coming at you, especially in this room with the energy of, and the passionate performance of the dancers and the musician. So you will be taken through an arc of situations, um, and the piece kind of takes us through this location, assimilation, renewal, and hope. And my um, honest uh, feeling is that we all come together for this next hour in humanity and spirit and share this moment.
there are children in the country learn English. The signs in our streets have inscriptions in both languages. Unless the stream of their importation could be turned, they will soon so outnumber us that all the advantages we have will not be able to preserve our language, and even our government will become precarious. Standing behind them are Christian employers of this land who would rather import heathen willing to work for barely enough to sustain life than retain a brother Christian at a wage sufficient to live as becomes a Christian. We do not want opium or the Chinese who grow us. Every hour sees a black man elbowed out of employment by some newly arrived immigrants whose hunger and whose color of thought can give them a better title to the place. coming in such numbers, and we are unable adequately to take care of them. It simply amounts of unrestricted and indiscriminate dumping into this country of people of every character and description. If there were in existence a ship that could hold three million human beings, uh, then three million of Jews of Poland would board to escape to America. What means the paying of the passage and emptying out upon our shores? such floods of pauper immigrants. The contents of the poorhouse and the sweepings of the street multiplying tumults and violence, filling up prisons and crowning our poorhouses and quadrupling our taxation. Then sending annually accumulating thousands to the poor to labor and experience and upon the helm of our power? <laughs>